So the effect of smoking cigarettes, cigars, or a pipe on sperm production is really more complicated than people at first might think. There's not a lot of evidence to suggest that by smoking you reduce the number of sperm that are produced by a man. It seems to be that most of the studies suggest that sperm production continues at a similar rate than what we see in, in non-smokers. So when we look down the microscope at the semen of men who smoke, at first glance we don't see any difference in comparison to non-smokers. The sperm also seem to swim just as well and they also have size and shape that's also very similar to that of non-smokers. But if we make more detailed observations of the DNA, the genetic component of the sperm, and that's what sperm are built for, to carry the man's DNA to the egg to create a new life. When we look at the DNA quality of smokers, it really is less healthy than non-smokers. The DNA is more likely to be chopped, damaged or disorganized. And the influence of that will be more likely to increase the risk of miscarriage or potentially uh, increase the risk of not getting pregnant at all because the sperm DNA isn't working correctly. So the advice to smokers really is that you should stop smoking if you're trying to conceive. Because we know it takes three months to produce a sperm, you should stop for a long extended period of time and allow all those toxins to get out of your body and allow for new healthy sperm to be produced. And I would argue more than that, you should probably stop in the long term because if you are successful and you have a child, then smoking around children is not something that we would recommend.